myocardial fibrosis. Man, what a bummer. So what is myocardial fibrosis? Well, it is typically in the ventricles of the heart, sort of a scarring, I guess, if you will, which can lead to, I guess, heart attack. Travel on 220, uh, at their website. I'll put a link down below in the uh, YouTube comment area. They posted the results of some research that was done at the uh, University Medical Center, uh, Hamburg Eppendorf, I believe, was where the scientists were. They took 50 men, average age 44, and 30 women, at average age 43, and they measured their incidence of myocardial fibrosis. Now, these were athletes, athletes that trained hard, and race hard, they found that 18% of the men had myocardial fibrosis. And those 18% were the men who trained the hardest and raced the hardest. What did they find in the women? Nothing. Zip. So is this a men versus women thing? I, they think that it's possible, very possible, that the women uh, did not show signs of myocardial fibrosis because uh, their training records were not as intense as uh, the men. So where am I going with all this, huh? Where I'm going is why do we do this to ourselves? Why do we do this? We go out there and we, we suffer in training. We suffer in the middle of a race. There's a little bit of glory at the finish line. Oh my God, that's a good feeling. If you've never crossed the finish line of a big race, a big endurance race, get out there and do it. Get out there and do it now. Well, not right now, you have to work up to it. Before we start getting all worried that we are going to, uh, us triathletes, as triathletes, we're going to die of myocardial fib... So this article comes out about myofardy, myofardy, my, my, myocardial fibrosis, Got it. Myocardial fibrosis. This article comes out. What do you do? Just give up triathlon? Stop running? Hell no. I'm not trying to shorten my life. Having quality in my life means training and racing in triathlon. So, yes, there may be a risk of myocardial fibrosis, but the risk is small, and I'll take that risk. Uh, I've got a few more thoughts on this myocardial fibrosis study, but first I have to get a haircut. Ah, so much better. I feel great, I look good, and that's all there is to it. So what was the condition of the athletes before the study? Was there some kind of predisposition, maybe some genetic predisposition that relates to uh, myocardial fibrosis and intensity? Maybe an obsessive behavior or some kind of intense competitive behavior is also related to the myocardial fibrosis. All right, that's it. Stay to the right, pass on the left, and keep on smiling. Have a good one.